What's up guys, it's Punchy, and today we got a pretty large update in the world of Deep Oaken Attunements. So I think this week's patch is pretty exciting, and let me show you what's up. Right off the bat, we have a whole new attunement path for Thundercall, which has finally happened, and it's not Purple Lightning. Unfortunately, we cannot obtain the Fairyman special, but trust me, it's really damn cool. So, introducing Surge Path, Unstable Capacitor. This path says your lightning no longer applies a shock, instead applying Surge. If you hit max stacks of surge, your opponents will overload, sending arcs of lightning in every single direction, and that's pretty cool. So, what does this mean? Shock, Thundercall's original status applied an extended hit stun while slowing down enemies, and this shock effect would even go through and ignore hyper armor entirely, so it was really damn good. But surge, that's a bit different. So, without having stun like thunder, the surge path will add on stacks that can be used to release damage in an AoE and with other talents. Let's check it out. You'll notice that our lightning appearance is shown as blurple, you know, that's what they said, blue and purple, and that's really sweet. So this affects everything, including Thunder Hero Blades and Thunder Wisps, and I love that. Also, yes, Flame Hero Blade changes with Azur Flames, so that Arthur build, you know, from Fire Force, it will happen at some point. Anyway, all mantras, as well as Stormbreaker M1s, apply this surge effect, and it's very interesting. The overcharge effect is fairly ranged when pulled off, and will activate when a single target hits a certain amount of surge stacks, and overcharges, releasing lightning everywhere, so it's pretty awesome. There's also some pretty cool talents, so let's briefly talk about them. Human Battery, another talent says, when you're out of ether, convert the surge stacks of nearby enemies into ether to pay for your own mantras, and that's pretty cool. Simply put, we absorb surge stacks and use them as ether, and it's pretty effective. All about surge, we now have Catalytic Strike, and by posture breaking an enemy, this overloads their surge stacks, and that comes full circle, and we can start the cycle of overloading once again. But it's it seems very solid for maintaining your surge throughout all fights, and yeah, this is cool. Moving on, we have Closed Circuit, and it's one of those talents that affects the overloaded target, and here's what happens. So Surge overloads, and the AoE release static, which fails to arc to other players, returns to that overloaded person, essentially doing extra free damage, and this surge path kinda reminds me of the Impaler path with a ton of new damage. Fried Circuits is also another talent that applies the Sap status, similar to the Thunder Wisp, which causes duration of cooldowns to double when placed on targets and that is nutty. If you're hitting somebody with a surge, they're already taking more damage and they get sap. Continuing with the new content, we've also received even more Iron Sync talents which could boost up its viability as an attunement and yeah, it kind of sucks a few mantras fell off and got nerfed but these talents seem interesting and unique. Let's get started. Metal Shackle says guard breaking an opponent prevents them from receiving speed boosts for 5 seconds and this sounds viable. I think with instant guard break options and other speed negation tools tools, Metal Shackles could be solid if you stack slowdown. Moving on to a bit of a controversial talent, Scrap Singer says, flourishing an enemy consumes any rods they have on them and siphons their armor to you based on the amount of rods. It's very unlikely to consistently hit flourishes against players and sometimes you want to keep those rods and is it really worth it? I'm not too sure. It still strips armor heavily and it might be viable on certain builds. Does anybody remember that one Iron Sing Path Conductor? Well, nobody really picked this, but it's finally received a new talent that could honestly be base behavior. Anyway, Conductor will now steal armor when applying the special Conductor Rod, and that's cool, but I still think Conductor's not good enough to be used consistently. Another talent, Oh the Irony, is a Taunt Metal Synergy, which doubles the amount of Metal Rods being hit on a taunted enemy. Upon this, Battle Royale also returns, and it seems like it will be a semi-regular thing, so this week we also have a new game mode of Squads and Trios, and that's very fun, and you might have every option to choose from, so if you want to try it out, give it a shot. It's really, really cool. That's all for this update, and check it out for yourself. Make sure to like and subscribe, and remember, there's so much more to experiment with in-game. Have a good one. It's punching time.